That one was a little too close for comfort. Are you all right, Xion? Whoa, you look pretty sexy. Miyuki, you're starting to sound like a dirty old man. Well, we completed our mission. Although someone made it more complicated than it should have been. Oh, come on, Xion. I promise it won't happen again. Anyway, how's the data? Don't tell me we lost it in the end. It's fine. The backup completed with 0 .002 nanoseconds to spare. Good. Not bad. Former Chief of Vector's First Division. You and your brother are both good. The translation method was sloppy and a bit lagging, but thanks to you, we made it. I'm going to start analyzing the backed up data. I'll let you know if I find anything, along with that. Thanks. Start the data transfer, Realian. It's Kanan. You seem to have a defect in your memory. Errare humanum est. Um... Uh, Xion? You aren't mad, are you? No. Everything turned out alright. I don't make a habit of fussing over details. Oh, good. No, it's not good. I'm sending you text on basic structure later, and I want you to answer them. Oh, again? Your method is unable to adapt to the language because you skip the basics during assembly. Yes, ma'am. Xion, is what we are doing really okay? You're asking me now? You're the one who demanded we let you help. I mean, well... What we're doing is a crime. Yes, but that was before the Gnosis terrorism. We know that the Gnosis phenomenon is symbiotically linked to the UMN. So the UMN, as it stands now, is dangerous. Just like Doc Tu said, Gnosis may not have been called by Professor Mizrahi, and the UTIC organization, or even the immigrant fleet, but rather Vector, the constructor of the UMN. If that's true, there may be an ulterior motive in Cosmos's development as well. Is that why you're having Skientia investigate the Milshin conflict? Because your father might have been involved? I don't know for certain. But I think someone has to do something. And I don't want Cosmos to suffer. Xion, you still can't forget about her? <sighs> You quit the company without any hesitation, so I thought you'd be over it by now. It takes a lot of courage to renounce everything you've worked for. Anyway, if there's any developments over here, I'll let you know. Right. But be careful. You're in more danger than the rest of us since you are where you are. Oh, Xion, stop trying to scare me. <coughs> Nephilim, you're still... That's happening a lot lately. I wonder if I'm just worn out.
I guess it's been a while, Chief. Um, actually, this is pretty difficult to tell you, but... At a staff meeting a few days ago, they officially decided to cancel First Division's Cosmos Development Project. Actually, it's being transferred to the military, so the project itself isn't going away. But the military is going to oversee the development of a new model. So the Cosmos unit development will come to a close at the end of this month. Togashi and I have the misfortune of being transferred to the military along with it. The decision was sudden, so we're all scrambling to organize the data we've accumulated. Though, all of us are pretty down since you've left. So, now I'm on 5th Jerusalem, where the project is being transferred. Would you like to come and visit us? Everyone misses you. I'm sure even Cosmos. <laughs> well, she's antisocial as usual, so I don't know what she thinks, but I bet she misses you too. I'll await your answer. I hope to see you soon, Chief. Our flower of First Division. Well, he's certainly learned how to talk smoothly. I can't believe it's been six months already. Chief, wait, calm down. Please, tell me why... Weren't you listening to what I just said? I was listening. I, I heard what you said. But what do you mean you're quitting? Upper management has yet to make a decision. I can't just stay on as chief like nothing happened after causing an incident like that. You mean the Gnosis terrorism, right? It was that grimoire guy who caused it. There's no reason for you to take responsibility for it. You haven't been accused of anything yet. You don't have to resign. Cosmos will be sealed and placed under observation and I'm responsible for it. It may be irresponsible to leave in the middle of development, but I can't stay at Vector. She's only being sealed temporarily and... Wait, Chief! Alan, please take care of Cosmos, and everyone. Please, give it a second thought. I'm sorry. Chief. A female form? Yes. Since ancient times, women always healed people's hearts and granted them hope. But there have been a lot of men who were healers, too. Historical records have always been compiled from a male point of view. And besides, men are creatures capable of nothing but destruction and conquest. It's important to choose a female form when it's going to be a creator or protector. Did I say something strange? No, it's just funny to see you with a gentle expression while you lecture with such intensity. <laughs> really? Why did you decide to make Cosmos, Kevin? Is it to protect humanity? Well... It's true that Gnosis are a grave threat to mankind's existence. So wanting to protect people from that threat is part of it. But more than that, there's something much stronger inside me. 
Stronger? Everything exists for a reason. If the Gnosis represents a truth we haven't known before, then I want to know what that is. The truth about Gnosis. I think that may actually be the shortcut to saving this universe. I know you can do it, Kevin. You'll build Cosmos, and you'll find that meaning. So, they've cancelled the project. It's my fault. Kevin would be sad. Everything is unfinished. I'm sure even Cosmos won't be satisfied. <sighs> no, I'm the one who's not satisfied. I can't go on leaving things unfinished like this. I have to go see Cosmos. It appears part of the S-Line Division data leaked. It's her handiwork. It seems she's working very hard. The leak includes information about that program. It doesn't matter. They have little power. Actually, it's all rather endearing. They think their cage is the entire world, and they believe they can change it. Let's just watch over them for a while. But enough of that. How did things go at Renlu Chateau? Is everything ready? Everything is proceeding as planned. The transport to Fifth Jerusalem is complete. We are ready for the Zohar project demonstration. Do you intend to leave that location as is? Yes. Ormus needs a sign that they can see with their own eyes. As long as they have their proof, they will continue to sacrifice themselves to protect their idol. For that is the source of their hope. There isn't much time left for her as well. Contact with Cosmos has taken its toll on her. You must succeed this time. I understand. I will tend to her myself. She emits good wavelength, just as you said. Thank you. Save the game? This is awful. Yes. This battle resulted in the destruction of the 87th Division fleet. Now the Mictum system has, for all practical purposes, fallen under Ormus control. And so, history repeats itself. It's the exact same situation as 100 years ago. As long as people have self-preservation instincts, there will always be conflicts. The consciousness that makes us who we are is an inseparable part of life. Only death awaits people who abandon their human nature. So everything is dictated by the laws of nature? That does sound like you, Helmer. But even that is in danger of being destroyed by the Gnosis, if things continue on like this. That's what the Zohar Project is for. I hear that the tactical warship Merkaba is already complete. According to the remaining fragments of the Y-Data, the Merkaba, just like the Proto-Merkaba, 
is a device that existed since ancient times. And Dimitri decided to turn it into a weapon. When Albedo obtained the Y data from Momo's subconscious domain, Dimitri obtained it as well by some unknown method. That bastard Dimitri. Who would have thought he would use Joachim's dark relics? This must be hard on you. I'm more worried about how Momo would feel if she learned about this. I can't bear to see her sad. You're a good mother. Well, I'm trying. I'm sorry, but I will need you to keep an eye on Dimitri a little while longer. Isn't this sort of job your specialty? Perhaps in the past. Now I'm the Milshin representative. I can't make any moves out in the open. Just restraining the Salvatore faction in Parliament keeps my hands full. You have my sympathy. Farewell. Are you busy? Kanan? No, it's fine. Have you found any information about the object? This is what it looks like under the UMN Resonating Telescope at maximum magnification. According to the information we obtained unofficially from Vector, this object is called Ren Le Chateau. There's no way to prove this, but apparently it's a landmass that belonged to Lost Jerusalem. Even if, as you say, this is in fact a relic of Lost Jerusalem, why has it appeared now? There is also a record of an unusual number of Gnosis appearing in that region of space. Ormus appears interested in it as well. There's likely to... The only way to obtain more data on it is to make direct contact with the target. What do you propose about assembling an expedition team? I've already commissioned the Kukai Foundation. This isn't public due to the number of Ormus members in the military and parliament. A wise decision. Was she on doing well? Yes, she seemed fine. Though I'm not sure if I approve of her new associates. Ah, uh, Scientia. Their technical skills are impressive. Vector has been acting suspiciously since the Gnosis terrorism. We'll use anything we can in order to find the truth, even outlaws. Please continue your investigation on the UMN. It must be difficult for you since you were born at Vector, but there's no one else I can ask. I'm currently under the jurisdiction of the Milshin government. And I've also received orders from Representative Helmer to cooperate with you. Do not worry about me. Thank you. Parliament and the military both have their hands full dealing with Ormus. And we can't ignore a request from committee member Mizrahi. Nah, don't worry about it. We're getting bored anyway. It'll be a nice change of pace. Right? That's right. It's unofficial, but we have information that an Ormus fleet is headed there as well. Either there's something there that Ormus needs, or maybe... Just because we don't know what it is doesn't mean they don't. Either way, if we make direct contact, we're sure to find out something, right? I envy your attitude. But I wish you'd think a little more about my position. Oh well, that's the little master for ya. The matter is surrounded by sensitive political issues. If I could, I'd go with you. But I can't leave Fifth Jerusalem for a while. Take care of the place while I'm gone, you two. If he gives you any trouble, don't hesitate to scold him. You got it. Understood. <laughs> like 
He really envies me. He's dumped all the hard stuff on us. I'm going to make him write all the reports when this is done. Little Master, are you really going to be okay with just the Elsa? Wouldn't it be a good idea for us to go too? Don't worry. It's just going to be a reconnaissance, so Elsa's small size is better suited. Just keep the Durandal in the back for support. Anyway, we've got ESs. There's nothing to worry about. Little Master, I don't mean to dampen your enthusiasm. But large-scale Gnosis appearances have been detected in that region of space. Please take appropriate caution. I know. We're almost there. I'll contact you later. Margulis, I've put Richard and Herman in charge of dealing with... the Federation fleet moving towards Renlu Chateau. <laughs> they seem to be highly compatible with the vessels of Anima. Yes. The Federation will be unable to offer any real resistance against ES craft. This should keep them quiet for a while. Hmm. What's wrong? You're not yourself. Are you feeling sentimental after returning to our homeland? Pellegrin, what do you see before you? Mictum, the mummified world that spreads before our eyes. This is what is left of the birthplace of Ormus. A world destroyed 18 years ago. By Federation barbarians who foolishly unleashed the Zohar. Yes, it is our homeland, wiped from the records. In order to cover up the Federation's mistakes. But why are we here now? What lies on this world ruled by death and gnosis? Isn't our goal to return to lost Jerusalem? Everything is the will of Lord Heinlein. It is not for us to know. He has stated that this world will rise again. Then it must mean that it will. Already Renle Chateau has returned. The holy land of Renlu Chateau? Our cradle, which once existed on lost Jerusalem. Where our blessed saint sleeps. If the reappearance of the tomb heralds the revival of our homeland, then we must protect our holy land at all costs. Reporting, sir. A Kukai Foundation vessel is approaching the region in question. It appears to be a Lohengrin-class freighter. Hmm. Helmer's dogs. <laughs> Perhaps I'll meet him again. Prepare the Prodigium for launch. We're going to Rennes le Chateau. Pretty big. More like an asteroid than a rock formation. It's 70 kilometers in diameter. Unable to determine mass due to abnormal gravitational fields. Still, these values seem to be rather unusual. I didn't think anything this size could cause such a gravitational disturbance. Gravity roughly 1g around the object. But that seems rather strange. Wait. W what is this? Looks like a large portion of land from somewhere. It could even be the remains of a destructed planet. No. The shape of the underside looks too uniform for that. It appears to have been artificially cut away from its original mass. Multiple unidentified craft are approaching. Tony! Damn it! Is that Ormus? It's nice of them to greet us. Continue your 
our approach to the island to collect data. We can handle these guys ourselves! Little Master! Now wait just a second! Is he telling us to go there by ourselves? No way in hell! We don't get any hazard pay! Damn escort! Now go do what you're paid to do!